Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Grill Repair. Just like all repairs, there's always something that comes up that's unexpected. If you have a grill that needs to be repaired, you'll want to watch this video. Okay, in today's video, we're going to try and fix the grill. It doesn't look like anything's wrong, but it's not supposed to do that. So let's try and fix that. The hood latch clip is located left to the center. You know, there's no way this is original because you, you have to stick your hand or something in behind there to hold the nut. And by luck, I can actually hold on to the nut without it spinning. We're going to fix that so we don't have to do this anymore. To remove the grill, you'll need a T35, a T25, and the two mystery pieces are bolts that somebody put in that are not original. I was kind of hoping I could do something with this, but this is actually broken and there's no piece to weld back together. So we're going to have to do something a little bit different than what I was planning. But while this is off, it's a good time to inspect your radiator, your heater core, all of that stuff. Okay, I'm going to lube this latch right here. I always use garage door spray because it doesn't pro it doesn't promote buildup. So this is kind of the best stuff to use. I don't care what anyone else says. While I'm at it, I'm gonna get the doors at the same time, the door hinges. We are going to install two nut rivets that are six millimeter in the location of the two bolts. I want to do this slowly. And I'm being very firm on the drill when I'm holding it. I'm not pushing hard at all. That's it. I'll repaint that. And if we take a look, we can see it fits in there nicely. Okay, so we opened our hole here to accept our six millimeter uh, thread nut. So we're gonna put this guy into here and we're going to squeeze it. Uh, we also painted around the edge. So I loaded the six mil into our thread nut, thread riveter. We load this guy onto here. like so put this guy into here and we give it a oh, pushing forward we give it a bit of a squeeze we can screw this in a little more give it another squeeze and that's about it that's all there is to it unscrew this We have our six millimeter bolt here. Voila, instant thread into sheet metal. And we're gonna do the same thing to this side over here. Put that into here, give it a bit of a squeeze, screw it in a little bit more, give it a bit more of a squeeze, and that's about it. Unscrew it out of there. Okay, so basically this thing's dirty and I want to clean it up. It doesn't have to be sparkling clean. I just don't want all the dirt to come off in the house. And I would take the chrome off or the plastic chrome off, but there is a good chance that I'm going to break some of these tabs. So I'm leaving this together 
before I do my fix. I have an interesting way of doing this. Normally what I do is I cut this off, 3D print a replacement piece for here. But let's be honest, this is a grill in the front of an engine. 3D printing is not going to last at all. So that's out of the question. I'm gonna use some kind of epoxy compound. Not 100% sure yet, but it is starting to get dark and the lights are coming on. And I wanna put this grill back on tomorrow morning. Okay, so our part looks like this. Basically, the nuts gonna, or the bolt is gonna go through here. Everything that you see here is the hollow or the reverse of the core. And then I also put a hole here so I can put a quarter 20 screw in if I need to and pull this out. So let's 3D print right now. We go over to here. This is what our 3D print software looks like. And that's what our print's gonna come out like. You're like, oh, is it really gonna have all those bumps on it? Yes, it will because of the angles. So if we take a look here, 3D printer is going to come around just like that. And this took a whole 13 minutes. Okay, as you see, this guy here is a little bit of a complex shape. It's on an angle. Oops on an angle and it fits in <clears throat> nicely to this radius that's on here i still have to put a release agent on here now you're going to say really a release agent it's going to be tape because i have to be able to pull this out and i also turned around and put a hole in here that i can tap quarter 20 put a bolt in there so it gives me something to pull on uh we'll see if we need to do that or not but this is basically how I'm going in. If you take a look, you see how this is all white? That's because I took a wire brush, scratched it up with a clean wire brush to make sure that we'd have some adhesion. Okay, for my epoxy, I'm going to use a fix-it stick. Um, I've used this on all sorts of stuff. This is a must-have. You can get it at any Home Depot. It's a must-have thing. So basically, it's a two-parter little tab off here uncoil this a little bit it's easier to do without gloves obviously there we go go this back a little bit here now you don't need a lot, so basically I think I'm probably going to do about this much. That's way too much, probably about that much there. You cut it off, wrap this back up, put that back in the end, wrap it back up, close it up, put it back in the container. And this is all I'm going to need. This is way more than what I'm actually going to need. And then you just mix it around, fold it into itself. Take your mold, insert your mold, take a little bit, You want to come right to the edge of this piece. So I want to make sure you got enough on there. Not too much, but enough on there. Five hundred psi tensile strength after one hour. One percent shrinkage. And this guy's hardened up now. Are right, you gonna let me pull out? Okay, good. See that pulled right out, no problem. And 
you take a look, we have everything we need here. And it's hard, like hard. Don't worry, we'll pretty it up by painting it black, but everything, clearance holes, everything should be good to go. That was a pretty good little mold we had here. And that's basically it. Tomorrow morning, we'll put her back on and we're good to go. Okay, now it's time for reassembly. Let's take a look at what we've done so far. We put nut rivets in here and in here. We cleaned this up and painted it a little bit. Another thing that I noticed right here, the paint's starting to wear here. So I got a fix for that. It's not all the way through. It looks like it is, but it's not. That's probably because the uh, grill was bouncing back and forth or vibrating back and forth. So we can fix that too. We'll make sure that that works great. Let's take a look at our grill here. Take a look at our fix. So basically what I did is I painted this a bit here so it doesn't look so white. Because if you look inside, it's incredibly white. But from the outside, you can't see this at all. So that's our fix there. Okay, let's do the assembly. Okay, so before we do this, I want to put a little piece of tape over here. And hopefully the white tape will be nice. It's just white electrical tape. Nothing special about it. Gonna stretch it out, and this is key. You cut it, you don't rip it off. Put it down about that much. Okay. Okay, to make assembly easier, I pre-installed these screws. You can do that because there's slots on the bottom here. So we'll put this guy in. Okay, so now that everything is done, the bottom has no screws in it, so that'll be a little bit loose, but as far as everything else goes, they're nice and tight. So we're good to go. As always, repairs never go the way you want. I was originally planning on using hot staples, but there's nothing to hot staple anything to because the pieces were missing. That was going to be my original idea. I didn't plan on making a mold and casting around that mold and all of the other things that I did when I started taking the grill off. Uh, things happen. Remember, it's best to do the job right the first time. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. Uh, I'd like to hear from you. If you have a different way of doing it or something else, I would appreciate that information, and I'm sure everybody else would as well. Thanks again. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free, and it'll help me out. And thank you for watching. Have a good night.